whiplash. I turn back to see that y'all turning your head and looking back at me, and I wonder if you know what's in my head. I see you from across. It was actually in the Las Vegas Review Journal. Uh, there was something posted on there, some interesting things to do. And I've been actually been to the Audience Theater a few times, and I really enjoy all the different things that come along. I've seen, you know, um, Carnival and also like the Balloon Master Variety Show. So there's always something interesting. I mean, it's like no matter how things were, everybody had their dark secrets, but uh -huh. in the end, there was still like kind of different levels of sticking together. Um, mm -hmm. So I thought it was a very interesting film. Um, you know, I, I think at, at first there is a little bit of that shock value of, you know, things are kind of dark. Um, and I think by the end it does, it goes somewhere. Um, and it does kind of talk about, uh, I think maybe even forgiving yourself um, and mm -hmm. just accepting yourself. I, that's what I took most from it. And I think that that's a, that's a powerful message. Yeah, I you know, I enjoyed the movie in general. I mean, I'm really not into you know movies that they have at the movie theater. I really want some, wanted something different, and this really you know was something you know different. Um, you know, it wasn't a happy ending. It was something a film that made you you know really think about relationships and you know, even your own skeletons in your closet. And although you have do have those, you know, you find people who accept you as to who you are, you know, as well. Yeah, and that's kind of what I took from there. The the first scene, <laughs> you know, um, I think you know. Like any good, you know, good, inter interesting film, you have to be open-minded. Um, and honestly, um, I, this type of film, it's something that, you know, I definitely have heard, you know, or seen different things that, that other people might be into. And, you know, for me, I was, um, I'm open-minded and able to try to see things from somebody else's point of view. Um, so that's the only thing that I would say is that, um, be willing to be uncomfortable a little bit because I think that's kind of what the movie's about. Um, and so if you don't have that kind of open mind, it you know, might be a good idea to, uh, to stay away. <laughs> I think that I would, I would advise if for someone go going in to see the movie it, to, to watch it through and don't be judgmental. Like right at the beginning, maybe like you feel shocked or uncomfortable. Like I was even thinking towards the middle, like, oh, where is this going? I didn't know where the story was going. But it's like uh, I was one of those people that that like I would only watch the movies in the theaters. So I never experienced like watching independent films. And I was like curious, like, oh, I wonder how I would like it. Because before I had this uh, belief where it's like, oh, independent films seem like it's, it's, um, it's Controver too controversial or it's like it's boring it's not the typical happy ending and I wanted that I want the happy endings but actually after seeing this I kind of like that that um, maybe I could relate to it or maybe it's something different films that you see in the theater they do they are predictable and sometimes they are the same thing that you see you know all the time so I do I really did like this film yeah in this film uh, you know there's you know themes that people are just uncomfortable with like you know um, gayness, you know, sexuality, drug use, uh, but you know, overall, you know, when you kind of look at the characters, you could really relate to some of their situations in some way. You know, whether it's you know having a bad relationship with like a sibling or family member, whether it's being kind of confused about your future, your own sexuality, or kind of who you're with or who you choose to be with, also. So I mean, although there's some things, you know, it's good to have an open mind and you know just really take yourself in because you know you could really kind of feel the characters as well. Um, I think to experience something that's that's different, something that uh, you know, there's a message. You know, I mean, I think um, you know, we all get tired. I think of seeing the same things mm -hmm. overdone. Yeah, it's a unique movie. It's not like um, dr dramatic in the sense that it's overly dramatic, like with a lot of the music and the the theatricals. Like, it's just a a story that is, it's um, it's original. So it's not something you'll you'll get in the the typical like Hollywood productions. I'm uh, now I'm a single guy, and I just 
I'm all by myself now, and I thought, well, I, I didn't want to go to any theater because some of those movies, and I get tired of watching television. So I thought, I'll try something different. So I came here to, to watch this film, and I was really, really pleasantly surprised how good it was. That film has got the best ending to it. It, it, it keeps you alert, you're right at looking at it. It just, it's a good film, and I can't hardly wait for the second one. I see a lot of TV, I see a lot of films. In my, in my years, I have seen a lot of movies. And this ranks right up there with, with one of the best ones. Oh, uh, well, my name's Brandon Burke. I'm an actor, uh, and I have my MFA in theater, uh, but live stage. Uh, I wouldn't consider myself a film buff. You know, I like what I like, and I don't like what I don't like. Um, I've always been more about live theater, but I, you know, I love a good movie. Um, and it's all art to me. It's all performance art. Uh, I enjoyed it. Um, I enjoyed how it was made. First of all, I mean, there were a couple of really great actors in it, um, especially. Uh, but as far as how the story was told, uh, you know, it, it reminded me, in a sense, of the days of... Uh, Coppola and Hitchcock, you know, it, they were the masters at stillness in film. And what I liked about this film, because a lot of films do that now, they, a lot of films are sort of, sort of harking back to that idea of stillness, of, uh, you know, the quietness. Um, but what this film did was, in those moments where there was no dialogue, every shot progressed the story. Every shot told the story. It moved us forward. It didn't just leave us hanging. It wasn't just there to be artsy, you know. It was, uh, you know, it, it moved us. So uh, we learned something from it, I think, is what I'm trying to say. And that's, that, that moves us forward. So you never get bored as an audience member watching the film. You know, you never just, it, it never stops. There was a pace to it, even though it was quiet, even though it was still. Uh, it kept moving. And I like that. There, there's something about it that's that's charming and, and raw and um, and unique, you know. And um, these uh, the story takes some turns, it takes some twists, it takes some it goes some places that you may not expect or that may not make sense to you, you know. It may not be the way uh, you think it would be or think it should be, um, you know. Particularly with the two characters. You know, you kind of, as an audience member, I think you sit there and you go, you know, that was, I didn't expect that. And I suppose it's easy to be critical of that sort of thing because it's unexpected, but but really, it's, it's kind of cool. I mean, it's kind of cool that it takes that turn, that it doesn't go where we expect it to go. And, uh, and I like that. Life doesn't turn out that way. You know, real life doesn't go that way. We all have these fantasies and these ideas of, you know, people we'd like to be with or how we'd like situations to go. We're going to walk into that job interview and this is how it's going to go and this is how, you know, but then it doesn't. Um, and uh, so it was, to me, it, w it was a slice of reality. You know, it reminds us that, that things don't always have to go the way that we expect them to go. It sets us up for those expectations. We see the situation with uh, you know, with the two main characters, and, and we have this idea of how it should go. We see the situation with Stephen and, uh, and the girlfriend, Chanel, um, and we have this expectation of how that's going to turn out. And then it doesn't turn out that way. Um, and it's a reminder, you know, that, that that's reality. You know, cinema, film, uh, you know, dramatization is, is generally, you know, life performed artfully. This is life performed the way it really is. And, uh, and so it's a nice slice away from what we're used to seeing in the theater and in the films.